Welcome back to the channel. My name is Alex Chung and today I'm going to be showing you guys what kind of filmmaking gear I'm bringing for my lifestyle commercial shoot that's happening tomorrow. By the time you guys see this video, I'm going to be done shooting with it already. So we'll see how that turns out. Hopefully it's okay. I'm going to be going over the gear that I'm bringing for the camera department, the lighting department, and then we're going to briefly touch on audio gear just because we're most likely not going to be filming any dialogue or any voiceovers or any sound. All right, let's dive straight into it. And we're first going to start off with the camera that I'm using. This is it right here. This is the C70, the Canon C70, and it's fully rigged out right now, as you can tell. I recently made the upgrade from the Canon C200, which is right there, to the C70, which I have currently in my hands. I've been testing out the C70 for a couple weeks now, but this is gonna be the first official client shoot that I'm taking this on, so I'm kinda excited to see how it performs. This is gonna stay fully rigged out just like this so that we don't have to do any rigging when we're on set, and that way we can just go straight into the lighting stuff. And basically what I have here is the small rig matte box in the front. I have the Tamron 24 to 70 lens, although I'm gonna be swapping it out with the Canon 16 to 35, which I'm filming on right now. In the back, I've got the external battery that's gonna be powering the camera. Up top, I've got the Hollyland Mars 300 wireless transmitter, which is gonna send the video signal from here, the camera, to my director's monitor, which my wife will be using since she's the director and she's gonna be watching whatever I'm gonna be shooting. And then this whole rig is gonna be mounted on my Magnus VT4000 tripod that's gonna be great for some locked off stationary shots. And speaking of the director's monitor, boom, right here, I've got the other half of the wireless transmission attached up top, and then I've got these two small rig handles that are perfect for just kinda of like gripping it more comfortably on the side. And then at the bottom here, I've got these tripod legs that are from the Crane 3S, and that's gonna be really good for kind of like holding it as a handle. And also if you want to, you can kind of like open it up. You can put it on a table or a flat surface and then you don't have to like lay it flat on its back. This whole rig is gonna stay exactly like this. My wife is gonna be holding it in the car ride the entire time just so that we save some time and not have to rig it out on set again. I'm also gonna be bringing the Canon EOS R, which is what I'm filming on right now. And then I'm gonna be pairing that up with the Tamron 24 to 70 lens. And that's gonna be a backup camera just in case something happens to the C70, all the batteries die, or we need two cameras to film something. I don't ever see it happening, but uh, it's better to be safe than sorry. The gimbal that I'm bringing is the Zhiyun Crane 2S, and I'll be using the C70 on top here for a couple shots just to get some nice movement in them. I'm very excited to see how well these two will pair together since it's gonna be the first time that I'm using it on set. And the gimbal is most likely gonna be like this, sitting in the back seat of the car until we need to use it, and then I'll bring it out and balance it and mount everything on it. One last thing on the camera side of things is the DJI Mavic Air, and this is the little drone that I'll be bringing just to get some aerial shots. I don't even know if we're gonna be using it at all, to be honest. I don't think there's any aerial shots in our treatment, but uh, just in case we need to get some drone shots, we have it here. And the drone goes inside its case along with the controller and the other three batteries, and that goes all inside my Pelican case. All right, moving on to the lighting gear. I'm bringing three main lights, the Godox VL150, the SL150, and the SL60. They're not the most powerful lights in the world since they're more on the budget side, but I'm hoping that they'll do the trick for the shoot. I'm also gonna be bringing a couple RGB LED sticks from Luminate that I'm gonna be using hopefully as a hair light if I can get them close enough since they're not the brightest lights either. Next are barn doors, and these go right in front of your light, and these are a must if you want to control the light and not have it spilling everywhere in your shot. I'm also bringing the Aperture for now 2X because they help amplify the amount of light and make your lights even more powerful than they are. I have two of them and they'll come in super handy on set. Now to get good lighting, you always wanna use diffusion to soft up your light and not create any harsh shadows. One of my favorite purchases that I've made recently is the Westcott Scrim Gym 4x4 butterfly frame. You can take apart the frame and save a ton of space in your car and just build it up really quickly when you're on set. It's a decent size for creating a big soft diffused light and on the frame, I have poly silk, which is a great material for diffusion. I'm also bringing two regular diffusers, one big, one small, and these are the five-in-one generic diffusers that you can find on Amazon. In order to mount lights and diffusion, I've got three C-stands and two regular light stands. I highly recommend getting caster wheels for your C-stands because it's so much easier to roll heavy lights around rather than picking them up one by one. I've also got knuckles and arms for the C-stands in case I need to boom a light or diffusion. The last item in the lighting department are extension cores. I've got four of them and I 
I probably need more in the future. They're great on set, especially if you don't have outlets close to where you're shooting. You just plug them in and lay out the cable and then boom, you have power for literally everything. Finally, we have audio, which again, we're not gonna be really capturing a lot of, if any. The shoot that we're doing doesn't have any dialogue and I don't know that we're actually gonna be recording any voiceovers or sound effects or anything like that. But I'm bringing my Tascam DR10 and my little Sony recorder just in case we decide to record audio. And I've also got my Rode video mic as well. And that's pretty much all the big ticket items. Stay tuned for the behind the scenes video of this project and you'll get to see exactly how I use all this gear and equipment. If you like this video, hit that like button, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell to get notified of every video that I post. Until the next one, my name is Alex Chung and I'll see you later. Bye.